And when I tell you guys, my page went from like a thousand people seeing it from like 3,200 people seeing it. And I feel like a lot of people don't talk about how beneficial this feature is on Instagram. What it do, boos? Welcome or welcome back to La Jada Lala's channel, which is Mom. And if you're new here and you enjoy watching fashion and lifestyle content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, honey. And if you'd like to connect with me outside of YouTube, follow me on all of my social media platforms. Not some, not just one, not just two, but follow me on all of my social media platforms. I'll put it down below. And I'll also put it down in the description box below. And as you all can see by the title of this video, I've given you the tools on how you can get brain dumps without being monetized how you can reach a thousand subscribers and now i'm going to give you guys how you can grow your social media page in 2024 and i'm not saying i'm i'm not an expert i'm not an expert guru on how you can grow your followers but i'm just going to give you guys some of that, my tips that i use with my clients because outside of youtube i do social media management for different companies so if you are a brand or you're trying to build your personal brand this is a video that you might want to watch because this is how you can grow your channel in 2024. So at my full-time job, I did grow the social media platforms in eight months. It went from 800 to 1800 within eight months. That is a really, really huge jump within one year. So I'm going to show you guys how I make the Instagram grow or how I even made my personal channels grow. Number one, you have to make intentional content. What I mean by intentional content, make content that is purposeful. For example, you have to make content that people will want to see, you know? There's a lot of brands that make like how-to videos or, you know, styling videos and just showing how you can elevate your fashion or elevate your brand. So a lot of those videos are very, very helpful and I feel like those are videos that people want to see. What I see a lot on Instagram, what people will say, like, how did I grow my social media platforms? But then they don't really say it in a video, they put how they did it in the caption. That is very intentional. And then also there is a call to action in the video. So it doesn't make you lose focus on the video. It allows you to read more and dive in more with their brand or dive in more with their content. So number two, and this isn't in a particular order. Just giving you guys just a, a broad list of what I think will help grow your social media platforms. And another one is reels, reels, videos, reels, videos, reels and videos. We have come into a society where we lose attention very, very fast. So short videos has helped brands grow. It might be uncomfortable at first, especially if you're the type of person who doesn't like videos. And I was like that too. I hated videos and it's crazy because I wanted to be a YouTuber. So I'm like, how do I hate video and I want to be a YouTuber? It just doesn't make sense. So just get out of your comfort zone. It's not going to be perfect the first time. It's not going to be perfect the, the 20th time. There's a video that I made for like my full time position. It was literally like maybe a 15 second video and it probably reached about 300,000 people. So videos are very helpful, especially on Instagram and TikTok. TikTok is literally video based. Using videos with trending audio, as y'all can see right here, there's some audio where it has a little up arrow, which means that that sound is trending right now. There's a lot of pages also on the Explorer page, if you go through and just look through them, that they will actually help you and show you different audios that will be trending or audios that will be trending. And it will help you grow because it will help you reach to a different audience using different hashtags of people who have used the audios. The less accounts that have used a certain audio, the more of a reach that your videos would be. So this next one, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about how beneficial this feature is on Instagram. For this video, it's more particular for Instagram and TikTok growth, not really so for Facebook, but you can utilize these things because I know Instagram and Facebook, they're kind of, I guess, one application now, so like, you can sync it together. So, so this next video is collaborating. And I don't mean like collaborate as in like working together, like physically with somebody. No, when I say collaborating, there's a feature on Instagram and basically what a collaborator does and it helps you reach their audience. What I do when I have my photo shoots or if I'm collaborated with a brand, y'all see right here with these two posts, the person who has helped me, you know, with my photos or a brand that I collaborated with, I add them to, to be a collaborator. Y'all see right here with fans idea, 
they have a really really big following and i didn't think they was going to accept me as a collaborator with my 2300 followers with their like what 81k with their thousands of followers my page will reach those accounts and when i tell you guys my page went from like a thousand people seeing it from like 3200 people seeing it and that is how i got some of my followers too same with my pictures here from valentine's day and if y'all ain't seen that vlog uh, you can go check that out because that's the vlog was everything and same with this video right here with my valentine's day shoot i collaborated with the photographer and it reached his audience it actually from that I've actually followed one another photographer from Florida. Stuff like that will help you grow your page and help you reach a wider audience when you collaborate with people on Instagram. And before I get to this very last point, if this video is helping, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell if this video has been very, very helpful for you. And make sure to watch my other videos right here so you guys can see how you can become a better content creator and how you can grow your socials, you can get brand deals and all that. So make sure you do all that before you continue on with this next advice. And lastly, comment on other people's content. We forget to un interact with other content, especially for those who, you know, are doing the same content. You're not in competition with anybody. The only person that you are in competition with is with yourself and the algorithm. It's always important to comment on other people's content because they will follow you, especially if you have like a funny video, if they have a funny video, you comment something else funny or, you know, just, just interacting with everyone else who is commenting on the video, that would help grow your following. You know, it just shows a sign that you support that what they're doing and you supporting them. And when it comes to comedy, it doesn't have to be anything in particular. You can comment some fire emojis. That's exactly what I do. I comment heart eyes when someone looks really, really good or just giving feedback, not like feedback that, involuntary feedback, but feedback if they're asking you know, question or whatever. Those are really good tools or really good things that you can use to grow your following on social media. Y'all see a lot of times like on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok that when someone comments under someone's post like a celebrity, they will get like 15K likes on their comment. And a good way to, you know, comment on somebody's post is to cut on their notification bill so you can know when they post something, especially when it comes to celebrities. You may never know, out of that 15K, you might even get at least 200 followers off of that comment, if it's a really good comment. And even with your own personal brand, just don't forget to interact with people who comment under your post, you know, because that would make followers, that, that would make followers stay to watch your content a little bit more, so just, Make sure you're interacting with your with people who interact on your page because if you ignore their content or if you ignore their their comments, then you could potentially lose followers. Every little thing will help you grow your socials. I'm not saying these are the only things that would help. These are just really just small advice that you can use to grow your socials. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys gained something from this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video all the way through. And let me know if you have any other questions or comments under this video. And let me know any other videos that you would like to see on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like this video. And if you like this content, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss a single video that I drop. And thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. I actually got this from Plato's Closet. This was only like $2. It's a little regal, so don't judge me. Y'all do not come to this channel to judge me. Uh-uh, that's not what we're doing. Ooh, ooh, that's the sound of the police in the hood.